Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we are looking at a, a really nice day for December 12th, 44 for the high, sunny. It'll be a little cold, but nothing we can't handle, you know? We'll be all right. Well, that's what winter coats are for, right? That's exactly right. Um, and we have a lot going on three days away from our secret holiday show. Get your final tickets, moles.com. It's a Friday night at Mulcahy's this week, muls.com for the last chance tickets. Um, it is Tommy Cutlet's Tuesday today. It is. The post is just great. Um, and I'm reading all about the game now. I'm sorry I missed it. It looks like uh, it was painful to the last seconds, just like the Giants always do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, boy, you know, and I know we discussed this earlier in the show, but um, a lot of Giant fans out there. and, and Very Tommy, happy today. Tommy DeVito, big night last night. You know, if if they keep winning and he keeps playing well, uh, you know, they have a quarterback that's injured that is due $40 million next year, Candy. Um, it'll get interesting around these parts, you know? Oh, totally, totally, totally. And I'm reading that uh, he, DeVito, Tommy Cutlets, mm. was uh, standing next to the coach by an Dable and yep. uh, when they were kicking that three point field goal, and mm -hmm. he's like, I'm gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm gonna look, and he decided, <laughs> I'm gonna look. And he stood right, they stood next to each other, pure excitement. Oh. And the coach grabbed him, hugged him, and told him he loved him. Yeah, <laughs> it's Tommy Cutlets all the way. Oh, that's that's just wild. Um, Candy, I got it. I've been talking about this story, I gotta tell you about it. So, a businesswoman stayed at the Ritz in Paris last week. Very nice. We yeah. stayed at the Ritz Carlton in Washington. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Oh. The the name itself exudes luxury. You check right? in, they hand you a cold glass of champagne. Okay, mm. that's just to start. I think I'd rather a warm towel, like a like a sushi restaurant or something. You know, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, uh, this Malaysian businesswoman stays at the posh Ritz Hotel in Paris. Her diamond ring, worth $800,000, man, goes missing. Now, and and by the way, doesn't you matter it goes missing. Okay, hold on. I it doesn't matter. It, I'm going to give her a break on this one. If if your ring's worth $500 or 800,000, you know, a lot of people like to take their rings off or they, you know, whatever and put it Not on the night. Not me, and this is the reason why. All right. Well, and by the way, to your point, some people choose to travel without their expensive jewelry, as you yes. know. Yes, and right? even the very rich will take an eight hundred thousand dollar ring, put it in their vault, and have it made with cubic zirconia to look exactly the same. Yeah, very, very good point. Um, Dana does not uh, travel with uh, her engagement ring her wedding band she will put on like this costume like you said this costume jewelry that looks like right. it could be an engagement ring right it looks like so a wedding band when does she wear that engagement ring? she will wear no she'll wear it around otherwise but like when we when we go away like we're going on a cruise that stuff is well you don't want it keeping. to slip off right. your finger in the ocean i mean Correct. that's please yeah. but i right. never take it off so i'm good so uh eight hundred thousand dollar ring turns up missing in her hotel room. She filed a police report and starts blaming the employees left and right. Of course Kate. she does. Right. So the Ritz launched a search. Do you know where they found it? Underneath wanna, the bed? No, take, take, not underneath the bed. I'll give you a couple more guesses if you choose to try one. Think, in think. In the uh, hotel safe in her room? Hmm. You're getting warmer. Mm. They found it in the vacuum bag of the vacuum cleaner that was used by the cleaning staff to clean the room. Ooh, that's a powerful vacuum. <laughs> it, <laughs> it fell off the nightstand or wherever it was, got vacuumed up, and they miraculously, luckily, found it inside the vacuum cleaner. Did she apologize for accusing everyone? Uh, we don't know about that. 
they t- the Ritz turned it over to the police for safekeeping until she Good. can return to collect it. Um, and they offered her uh, a couple of free stays to make up for the inconvenience. She declined to return mm-hmm. to the hotel. I, think I like this lady. No, she. I don't well, know who she is, and I don't think I like her. I, you know, I'm I'm not saying I'm going to sit here and give her the benefit of the doubt, but I understand she was probably, you know, uh, a little upset as as the search was going on. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure she was, but it's part her fault. That's no yes, taking yes. care of an expensive piece of jewelry like that. Ab- Sorry. Absolutely. Um, it's International Universal Health Coverage Day. Isn't that a nice thought? That every single person in the world has health coverage and can yes. go see a doctor. It's a very nice thought, if only it were reality. Yes. Uh, it's, okay, let's see what this is. National Ding-a-ling Day. Ding-a-ling. It is, it should say Ring-a-ling, but it's, it's called Ding-a-ling Day. It, encourage us, it encourages all of us to reconnect with people we once talked to often and don't anymore. I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. I'm not doing that. Out. There's a reason for everything. No. Okay. It is National Ambrosia Day today. No. Throw that out too. Now that's that fruit stuff, right? With the like the marshmallowy, I don't know what it is, creamy and fruit in it. Yes. Co- correct. No, I don't like that. All right. It's National Poinsettia Day today. You know, BJ's was selling a pink poinsettia that i had n- never seen before hmm. it's beautiful it's now like a new thing now yeah i, I could see that why not I'll, i did it could spruce up it the household beautiful. i didn't buy it i don't even know where to put it it's not really safe for well i know for sure for cats i'm not quite sure about dogs but um yeah beautiful new new variety like so go run and get your pink poinsettias now we're, we're both saying poinsettia and it's spelled poinsettia okay so, go get oh. your pink poinsettia there you go um and yeah national gingerbread house day today does anybody eat their gingerbread houses um i think my kids have had a little bit in the past but i find it rather disgusting when you make a gingerbread house and then it sits there and you know and sits and, there and your hands were all over it and everything. Yep. No, yeah, no, I'm, I don't I'm think good. They get eaten all that. No, much. no, I think they get thrown out like a week or two later after sitting there on your kitchen table for. They're cute though. Yeah, I agree. Um, a warehouse filled with donated Christmas toys got destroyed by that tornado near Nashville Saturday. Oh, man. Yeah, the roof, the walls gone. Somehow, the gifts survived. The charity that, you know, is in control of distributing those toys called it a Christmas miracle. I believe that. Yeah. Santa stepped in. Yeah. Uh, Terrible tornadoes down there. Incredible. Horrible. Oh, my goodness. People lost their lives. They're really bad. Um, The Arizona Daily Star newspaper has been doing something fun for the holidays. One page of each issue is free wrapping paper. What? Yeah. So... In in the in the the newspaper, one page is like imagine wrapping paper. Like you could pull it out of the newspaper, oh. and that it it's like cute little wrapping paper. That's very clever. They're doing it every day this week. They did it last week. Each day has a different design by local artists in the Tucson, Arizona area. Mm-hmm. I like that. And finally, a guy in Kansas named Michael Russell is channeling his inner Clark Griswold again. He's decorating his home with over 100,000 Christmas lights. Wow. Good luck to him and paying that electric bill. That is, by the way, four times as many uh, as Clark put up in the Christmas Vacation movie. Uh, Michael's been doing it for 15 years and says it takes three months to set it up. You and me, and you know this is true, we leave it up all year. I would never take it down and put it up and take it down and put it up. No way. Agreed. And we would hire somebody to take oh. it down and put it <laughs> Maybe up. that's true, yeah. yes. Uh, and about 8,000 visitors come by during the holiday season, and he leaves like a donation bucket for charity and all that Hopefully. stuff. Listen, yeah. if you got the, you know, the idea, go ahead, do it. Go for it. Yeah, look, if you got the money and, and you got the uh, the time. You enjoy doing it three months every year, getting mm-hmm. it together. Go ahead. 
I think it's beautiful for the community. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. That does it for our Tuesday, Candy. All right, my friends, you have a good day. Enjoy the concert. Please try to videotape a little so I get to hear a lot show on the saxophone, which I love. Mm-hmm. And enjoy. Enjoy your life, my love. Enjoy yeah. your life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I will be at the elementary school band concert tonight. One you know. day you're going to say, oh, I wish I had a child to go see a winter concert and he's performing. So I enjoy know. it. I will. I will. Uh, yes. Thank you to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Reminder about our secret holiday show this Friday. Last chance tickets available at moles.com, M-U-L-S.com. Our 12 Days of Christmas texting contest continues. Mm-hmm. Check our socials. It is easy to do. Uh, we are excited to bring that to you. And uh, yeah, we have uh, a great day. I'll be here till noon. We got Murph Dog and uh, Jim voice guy and it's going to be fantastic 44 sunshine let's hit the roads my country 96.1 fathead and candy in the morning weekdays 6 to 10 a.m on my country 96.1